is nuclear radiation. Nuclear radiation focuses on the nucleus of the atom. The word radiation means to give off energy. When we look at the structure of the atom, we have the nucleus, which contains the protons and the neutrons, and we have the electron shells, which contain the electrons. The nucleus, we're only focusing on the protons and the neutrons. As the mass of an isotope increases, the number of neutrons also increase. The nucleus of these atoms can become unstable and therefore split up to try and stabilise. This is what happens when we're looking at nuclear radiation. We have to be able to write the nuclide notation for each of the subatomic particles which are found in an atom. We're going to start at the bottom where we are focusing on the charge and at the top we already know that nuclide notation that represents the mass number. A neutron has a charge of zero and has a mass of one. A proton has a charge of one positive and has a mass of one. The protons and neutrons, remember, are found inside the nucleus. Electrons have a charge of minus one. They have a mass of zero. One neutron which is found inside the nucleus, which is neutral, can split up to form a positive particle, which is our proton, and a negative particle, which is our electron. What we should be able to see is that the top number on the left-hand side of the equation is equal to 1, and the combined mass total on the right-hand side of the equation is also 1. The total charge on the left hand side of the equation is zero and therefore the total charge on the right hand side should also be equal to zero to ensure that we have balanced nuclear equations. There are three different types of radiation that we have to know at National 5. The first type of radiation is known as alpha. An alpha particle is based off of a helium nucleus. If we're looking at a helium atom we know that the atomic number is equal to 2, and that's equal to the number of protons. The electron arrangement of a helium atom is 2, which means it has 2 electrons. If I have 2 positive and then 2 negative, the overall charge of the atom is equal to 0. The mass number can be found on page 7 of the chemistry data booklet, which has a mass of 4 Therefore, the number of neutrons is equal to 2. Remember, nuclear chemistry focuses on the nucleus. We're not interested in the electrons, which means the overall charge of the nucleus of a helium atom is 2 positive. An alpha particle has a 2 positive charge, and therefore it will be attracted to the negative plate when passed through an electric field. The second type of radiation is looking at beta. A beta particle is a high energy electron which is given off from the nucleus. Remember, one neutron can split up into a proton and an electron. The electron is the beta particle. A beta particle has a negative charge and because of this it will be attracted to the positive plate when passed through an electric field. The third type of radiation is looking at gamma rays. A gamma particle has only energy. It has no mass and no charge. Because a gamma particle has no charge, it will not be attracted to any plates when passed through an electric field. We have to know what's able to stop each type of radiation. Alpha can only travel a few centimetres. So it can be stopped by either a few centimetres of air or a piece of paper. Beta can travel a few metres. A beta particle can be stopped by some aluminium foil or a sheet of aluminium. Gamma can travel the furthest. Gamma radiation can only be stopped either by a block of concrete or lead. To summarise, an alpha particle is made up of a helium nucleus, 
the nuclide notation is He2. It has a positive charge and a charge of 2 positive. It's attracted to the negative plate and can be stopped by a few centimetres of air or a sheet of paper. A beta particle is a high energy electron. It has a charge of minus 1. It's going to be attracted to the positive plate and can be stopped by a sheet of aluminium. Gamma is the third type of radiation. It has no mass and no charge. And because of this, it's not attracted to any plate. It can be stopped by lead or concrete. This past paper questions from the National 5 2019 written for A. Radioisotopes emit radiation to become more stable. State where the radioactive decay occurs in an atom. We're focusing on nuclear chemistry, so therefore the radioactive decay occurs in the nucleus. This past paper question is from the National 5 2018 Multiple Choice 22. The diagram shows the path of two different types of radiation as they pass through an electric field. Which line in the table correctly identifies the types of radiation which follow paths X and Y? So if we read the table backwards, we're going to start with path Y. If we look at path Y, we can see that it's not attracted to any plates. So that's going to be our gamma radiation. Path X is attracted to the negative plate. Positive particles are attracted to negatives. The positive type of radiation is alpha. The correct answer to this is multiple choice answer D. This past paper question is from the National 5 2014 written 5A. Different types of radiation have different penetrating properties. An investigation was carried out using three radioactive sources. Name the type of radiation emitted by source 2. So what I would do is I would be looking at 1, 2 and 3 and identifying which each of the types of radioactive sources they may be emitting. If I look at number 1, I can see that it stops by lead, it travels the furthest. So that's going to be my third type of radiation, which is gamma. If I'm looking at 2, it's stopped by paper. So therefore, that is going to be alpha. And therefore, 3 must be beta. So the correct answer to this is alpha radiation. This past paper question is from the National 5, 2018, written 12a. Thallium-204 decays by emitting beta particles and can be used in industry to measure the thickness of paper. Suggest the reason why a radioisotope which emits alpha particles is not suitable for this purpose. What we're looking at is paper and alpha particles are stopped by paper. So therefore would not penetrate the paper and be able to measure the thickness. 